Hello there, I'm going to give you a little video tour of our Swift Escape Compact C205 2019. Nearly new this, it's only got 3,181 miles on the clock. It's under 6 metres so it's not going to stop you going anywhere. There's very little overhang on the back so you're going to be confident on and off ferries. And uh, it's the 2.3 turbo diesel Fiat Ducato engine. So let's have a good look around. Show you the overall condition. As I say, it's 2019, it's, it's hardly used. Lovely little compact van. And in pure sort of white with these nice blue graphics. It's got the pre drilled points for the uh, bike rack if you choose to fit one so it's an easy screw on there right let's have a look in the in the cubby holes so this is uh, one of the access points to the garage storage area and then I'll take you around the other side and show you the other access point which is a lot bigger this little built-in cabinet here hides the Truma boiler vent will inform you where the, the boiler location is there. That's the cassette emptying point for the toilet. Onboard water tank filling point here and it's nice to have the option of an electric uh, pump option to easily fill. So you stick a hose in or you can fill from a container with the pump. Round to the passenger side we have diesel point there. Gas locker here. As you can see, it's cleverly spaced for two bottles. It's narrow, but it's deep. And you've got the benefit of the crash sensor there. So you can leave it on as you're driving. You can even have heat coming into the hab area while you're driving. And it's got the collision uh, function there. So it switches off in the, in the event of, a, of an accident. Put your electric hookup point there. The vents there inform me where the fridge is on the inside and then this is the extra large access point here for the, the garage. So you can see some, we've just stored the hab thermals in there and the uh, carpets but you can see you've got your water pump there, you've got the Truma heater boxed in there and you've got the battery charger unit there. Now this is clever as well, you've got the option to raise the bed. I'm not going to raise it fully because uh, I've got the um, sort of blanking panel connected in the inside I'll show you. So I don't want to raise it fully. But just to show you access to the van, then you've got extra height in the garage if you need it. That's what I was talking about there, that's clipped in. So you don't clip that and then raise it fully on the inside. Okay, let's go and uh, take a look inside. So, you've got this clever little lowering of the chassis there, so you don't need a step. It's a very easy step in. You've got this very trendy grey upholstery. Six-speed manual box. Got the um, Cruise control and speed limiter function on, on the steering column there. Got a nice media center, connects your phone and Bluetooth and everything. You've got uh, air con, uh, twin airbags, nice little USB access and 12 volt access there. And the fully rotating cab seats. I don't know if I can rotate, yes I can, with one hand, with the other hand holding the camera. But yep, yeah, so both seats fully rotate. I just pull that so you can clear the steering wheel. And there you go. And then you can feel the right part of the action. I can't do that one with my hand because it's it's locked in position, but the other one. So there you go. There's the cab seats. And then the two front facing seat belts there for the passengers. So that's nice and comfy riding for the passengers 
facing forward. So if I lift up this and show you in here, that's your onboard water tank. And then you can see the easy cleaning and access there. That's the filling point to the outside world there. So nice and easy access, just sits underneath the, the seats there. This is a nice little extra little, that pulls up and locks into place and then you'll need another hand to let it down. So I won't put it in place, but a little extra working area there. And I'll send you a link on this video to the Swift command control panel. You can also download an app, the Swift Connect, onto your phone and control everything that you can control with a touch screen on here, on your phone. And similarly with the True Marinet heating panel here, I'll send you a separate video for that as well. Um, and again, you just download the True Marinet onto your phone and you can control that with your phone also. So let's move into the, didn't show you the storage, here we go. Little aircraft style storage cupboards above the um, where the passengers would sit there. And this nice big sort of roof light to flood the cab with light. So everything's really bright. Um, clever little cable situation here. So you can have toasters and things and the cables can all hide away up through the up through the unit. Okay. There's your three pin plug for the microwave. And if I can show you a little storage area above the sink, above the kitchen. If I angle down, I can show you this nice, deep, big circular washing up bowl. And then you've got your three gas burners there. It's a full kind of good sized oven and grill in there. And then this nice little inbuilt step up into the uh, transverse bed here. And you've also got extra storage, one, two, three overhead lockers there, and a nice having the roof vent and an extra window here, not only for ventilation, but uh, it's nice to get natural light. Clever little storage cupboard here because you've got this uh, table mount and the table here, which plugs into this little bit on the floor and then there is a hanging rail but it's not connected it'll be on the it'll be stored down on the floor here but there's a little hanging rail here as well so a nice sort of three-quarter length hanging area there again we've stored the carpets and the winter blanking panels for the, the fridge in there So that only leaves, oh, I don't think I've shown you the, sorry, I haven't shown you the fridge. A good sized fridge and freezer compartment here. It just sits below where the um, sink was there. And other storage in the kitchen, angle down, sorry, so I'll give you a good look. That's under the oven and that's under the oven and that has access to pipes if I just angle up again sorry there we go that's right underneath there we go so that only leaves the bathroom which is a little sort of semi well it is a wet room because the shower is combined with the um, sink then you'll lift that up and attach it here and you won't need to worry about getting all of the cabinets wet because these are all just a, a one unit sort of plastic wet room feel. The only thing you have to do is pull this across to cover the door. But it's essentially sort of a semi wet room affair in here with the shower. Your classic Thetford toilet, which rotates around for comfort got the emptying, uh, got the locking thing there and the flush there. Okay, I think that's a good little video tour of this Swift Escape Compact C205. Nearly new, very low mileage. It would be a good buy.
and take you on many adventures, I'm sure. Okay, thanks very much.